I UE5. Yeah, that's right. Hey there guys and welcome back to another FPV guy video. I'm Bo Lorenzen and as you know this week I'm scooting around here in CES 2018 looking for drones I like and I have a special place in my heart for small drones. I'm not entirely sure why but they're fun to fly. You can fly them indoor. It doesn't destroy your windows or furniture when you smack into something and here at the UV5 this is the product right here UV5 go to uv5.com they have their new teeny little Ori drone this is it's turned on right now you can see the light going it's a USB charging battery so you don't have a regular charger and it also comes with this awesome little radio it's basically two little thumbs I don't know if it's so good for pinchers like me but two little fun things you've got video here and this is actually not my video there's some people flying right over here so when it moves it's because they are flying this thing it's got the video it's USB charging works with this one right out of the box ready to fly you're looking at $380 retail once they start shipping sometimes in April and you can buy extra batteries again USB charging setup for some reason now importantly these are brushless, so it's not a brushed aircraft. That means the motors are not gonna get softer and softer as you go forward. And they also got, they're really quiet. They got the little edges here to control the vortex off the props. So it's an advanced, super small little drone together with the radio. Now, I was trying to find out how much the aircraft is if you just destroy it. They're telling me about half of the full kit. So you're looking at about 150 to 200 for just the aircraft. Now, unlike my Teeny Whoop, if you look at the bottom here, you will see there's an optical flow and there's also a light emitter. So this has some added stability controls. Both it's very stable, it hoovers really nicely, but it also has anti-drift. So if you let go of the sticks, this thing is actually gonna hang there rather than just kind of float away. So that's gonna be a huge advantage because most people that's learning FPV, they pick this up, then they start flying. Ah! Let go of the sticks and the thing of course just keeps flying as you know. This one, the Oreo, Ori, I can't pronounce it right. The Ori, optical control, it's gonna stay in place. So when you get all freaked out, let go of the stick, this thing is just gonna hang there, exactly what you want to learn. Now the other important thing, that picture here, it goes on my fat sharks because I don't like flying off this, I like flying goggles. So if you already got fat shark goggles, this will work. And if you have some of the other brands of goggles, they will also work as long as they see 5.8. Now, the last thing to mention, the radio here is a proprietary radio system. They wanted their own control over the frequency apparently. But what they do have is they have a JR module so you can put it, plug it into the back of a Tyrannis. So that way you can actually fly this with a Tyrannis radio and that way you're flying this with the radio you like to fly. So anyway, that's it here from UV Fly Booth. Go check out their website and of course also <laughs> click in the corner of the screen where it says subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for more CES 2018 videos. Thank you.